Anyway, yeah, I like we, do, we do we do a wheel of Curtis. We don't have to read about all of the games we add there. And we'll just you know, at first I don't think we should brand the live stream with the games that uh, were chosen in the Wheel of Curtis in the previous live stream because we may not yeah. stick stick with them. Just call it a you know, mystery live stream. And then after the live stream is over, in case we love that game or continue playing it, then we can brand it accordingly. I like it. I like it. Uh, so then, yeah, there's so many on here. I mean, there are so we have. To, there's probably. And so if games. if we if we don't like the game right away, then we can spin the wheel during that live stream and just start a new game. Okay. So then, I guess in that case, we shouldn't tell. We shouldn't say who recommended the game until we decide we like it, because we don't want somebody to feel bad that we don't like the game that they recommended. Yeah, we're going to credit the recommendation to whoever chose the game at the end of the live stream in case we actually played it. I'm not going to say all the way through because right. we're not going to play any of the games all the way through, but played the game more than just a couple of minutes. Okay, and then this week, in terms of if we uh, that that Kentucky Route Zero game might be one that just you know if we want to if you'd rather do like some of the like you know um, continue with Walking Dead or or the uh, get going with uh, I keep forgetting the name of the one we were just talking about the Day of the Dead one a like um, Grim Fandango yeah, we could do that if you'd want. And I could do, I could just make the Kentucky Route Zero one the next solo one that I do if you're not as interested in that. Sure. So many games, so little time. Mm hmm. Which is the exact opposite of what we had as kids when we had so few games and so much time. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys can't hear all the. Oh, there's some grinding going on up there. I'm gonna... No, 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 we can't hear the grinding. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, it's super loud here. Uh, all right. Um, I'm seeing... There we go. What I can say is because the, of the grinding and the noise cancellation, you know, I'm gonna voice... put the, my, I gotta put my headphones in. This is too loud. <clears throat> Don't start it yet. Okay. Take a Timers. second. Take a second. Okay. Let me know. Take your Stay time. Anywhere. Hold on. It's not Holy like it's a live stream. Holy Can you hear me? Holy. All right. Can you hear go. me Let's now? Go to... One more thing here. Can you hear me on your headphones? Oh. I got to change my audio and then we'll be good to go. Change your audio on Zoom. Yes, I freaking remember that now. Okay, I think that did it. Can I hear you? Hello. No, now I can't hear you at all. Oh, it's because I'm not turned up. Hello? Hello. There we go. Okay, let's start the stream, shall we? Okay. What the heck? Let's go. <clears throat> Hello, everybody, and welcome to Conversations with Curtis. Happy Monday. Monday. I hope uh, hope you're all doing well. Thanks for joining. Uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a lot of grinding and uh, construction going on directly over my head. And uh, uh, hopefully that will stop sometime soon. But anyways, uh, glad you're here. See some folks. Joseph, Sen, good to see you guys. Uh, and we are going to be finishing the bunker today. I think we're going to be finishing it. Seems like we do not. It's a shorter game, so we should probably finish it up, and then we uh, might end up. If we get done early enough, we will either go back to Walking Dead or we'll figure something else out. Uh, but we are doing well. Did you guys have a nice weekend? Uh, anything? Uh, anything fun and exciting happen? I was able to do a. We did a Letters Aloud show. Uh, at Town Hall, Seattle, which is kind of a big feather in our cap. And uh, one of our Seattle fans, Bevan Red, uh, I, I came to the show. It's funny. I She was on 
our show as a uh, as a guest. She was a guest host for a day. We had a great time playing a uh, game with her. Uh, and then, you know, a bunch of people showed up at the at the event and I recognized her, but I didn't know how I recognized her. And then when she came up and told me who she was, it was like, oh my gosh. So it was so cool to actually run into a conversations with Curtis fan at a live event. That was pretty fun. So Bevan, if you are here or if you see this, thank you again for showing up uh, at the show and on her birthday, no less. And she brought her mom and that was really cool. So uh, really appreciate, really appreciate your support. Um, yeah, you know, we are going to be traveling around the country. We have uh, our tour dates on our website, lettersallowed.com. So if we are coming anywhere near your your neck of the woods, uh, check it out and come come see a show. All right. Uh, I got nothing else to say. I want to bring Daniel out. So before I do, let's just say thanks to our Patreon members. And show the little list of our folks. Thank you all so much for joining uh, and continuing to support Conversations with Curtis. And I haven't really uh, done this in a while, so I want to thank our top donor, Malika Chandler. Hi, Malika. Oh, I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for continuing to support us at the level that you do. Same goes for Francois Damagella, Robbie Thurio, Moffat Reborn, Yuma 81, and Corbett Chu. And of course, our 20 and $10 donors as well. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you can join us on Patreon or coffee, we sure would love your support. And if we can't, if you can't and can give us a one-time donation, that always helps. And you would be, oh, look how big I am here. I got huge. <clears throat> Those are our top donors right there. See, oh, I'm moving around. CJ, Zwex, Ray Koopa, Ozzy Astra, CompuArt, CompuArt, and Moffat Reborn. Let's get. <laughs> but yeah, if you can join us uh, and if you can help us to our, get our, to our goal this week, we will have a Wheel of Curtis at the end of the week where someone will win their own video game from our archives. And you just want to support us at the coffee. Oh, yeah, we turned around. Coffee.com right there. Um, all right. That's all I got. Everybody say hi to Daniel. Daniel. Hi. Also, what's up, Daniel? How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? All right. You, uh, all right I got it. You got me all bigger than you. Let's see. We haven't, we didn't work this part out. I look like I'm, I'm, you know, in, in way in the front here, kind of chilling. In You're the in the God tier. So I'm in the God tier. Yeah um what's, what's going up? on uh uh well you know we're we're gonna we're gonna bunker it up again yeah you know, mm -hmm. we're gonna do the uh how are you tell me what your thoughts are on the bunker as a game and as a fmv game it's pretty great and i was expecting less interactivity so i was pleasantly surprised by the fact that you know there is some walking around like in the old fmv games Although it's in, in the first person perspective. Mm. But still you got it's it's reminiscent of um the X Files. That reminds so, you of that? Yeah. Because in the X Files we didn't always see the the main character during navigation. We saw him in the cutscenes. And we'd walk around a 3D environment without the actual turning around, like in Ripper, which yeah, would make yeah. you dizzy at best. And so it's very reminiscent of the, the late 1996 FMV games in which they just save money on the cutscenes by having the navigation done between still images. When you walk left, you see a still image of that location then you walk right and so i like it yeah i like it a lot too i i think um i i think that it it's just super polished and and uh very very well it's just very well put together the the cinematography is great i think the acting is really strong you know it's a short game and so it, it just but it shows me that if somebody or if a company chose to do so that like this game could very easily have been a good six hour game with tons of choices 
and tons of opportunities to wander around and see things and pick things up and have an inventory and and have them you know it's it, it had all the earmarks of it ultimately being a potentially classic uh fmv game yeah my my guess is that due to budget or maybe this is just the only story they wanted to tell but you know it just shows to me that you could you really could go you really could make a game as complex as some of the earlier fmv games with this kind of quality now and that that's exciting that would be fun to see something like that although one thing that bothers me with these fmv games and with recent adventure games like lamplight city is the fact that that you can have an inventory, but you're not using the items in your inventory as you would like to use them. So for example, if you have something in your, in your inventory and you click a hotspot, then he uses that something from the inventory without you choosing that particular thing. So for example, in older uh, adventure games, you'd choose what you want to use from your inventory and use yeah. it on something. And that way you, you could use everything on everything to find out what the solution was. But with Lamplight City and with this game, you have an inventory and it just uses things for you from that inventory in case it fits with the, that particular item or whatever you right. could do. Like with yeah, the key, doing... we got the key and then we just had to go to the door and, and click the, the hotspot, the same hotspot we clicked before when we didn't have the key. Right, right. And then with like Phantasmagoria, you're going to, uh, you know, gather more than one key and they don't always right, fit the right door. So you have to be able to, but I think that's kind of cool too, when you get a key and you go to a door and you use the key and it doesn't open the door. It's like, oh yeah. crap, I got to go find another, another key. So, yeah. <clears throat> so again, I think that there's, there was probably limitations with which, you know, they had in terms of budget and shooting and all that, but yeah. Uh, I'm curious if there is something of this quality in terms of, of, you know, the way it looks and the way it's shot that has a more uh, fleshed out, longer, uh, longer gameplay. It, it's on the, it, it seems like this is doable. People are doing it. Let, let's just recreate Phantasmagora 2. And instead of the inventory, we'll have a more streamlined game flow in which you'll need to just click the objects on screen. And that's it. Since you look the think, same as you did back then. Uh, now they need someone else. But I think the thing would be, uh, you know, you could certainly take, <laughs> if you could ever find the Phantasmagoria 2 script. and uh, We have uh, it. Re well, I guess we do kind of have it, yeah. Um, yeah, I think a, a, a rewrite of that and an update and just sort of redo. I think that could be really cool. That would be really fun to watch. All right, let's play this game. Okay. Unless we got other things. What else are we going to do? Oh, we were talking a little bit about before we play the game. Let's, let's tell them what we're thinking about in terms of upcoming game choices. Okay, since a lot of you guys sent tons of game recommendations and it's pretty hard to sift through all of them, then we'd like to just place all of them in the Wheel of Curtis. And before each stream where we don't know which game we'll end up streaming, not like the Friday or Monday streams, which we predetermine which game we'll, we're going to play. So let's say on a Wednesday stream, before the Wednesday stream, we're going to do a Wheel of Curtis with all of your game recommendations, spin it, and whatever comes out will be the game we play. And in case we start playing it on Wednesday and we don't like it for whatever reason, then we just spin the wheel again in that live stream. And play another yeah. game. <clears throat> so we'll be very honest. I think we're not going to tell. We won't. Re we won't reveal who recommends the games unless we like it. But uh, but if we start to play a game and it just doesn't click with us for whatever reason, we're just going to be very honest and we'll just move forward with the next game. But this way, we can get a real sense of all these awesome games that you guys have been sharing with us. Um, and. We'll continue with the ones that we really like, and then we'll move on from the ones that we get enough of earlier. Yeah. So that's it. But we're going to, yeah, well, the good news is I think I'm finishing Stanley Parable tomorrow. So that's a game we finished. 
We're going to finish this game today. We're going to finish Phantasmagoria, I guess, next week. Mm-hmm. Hoping I can get Roberta. It would be so great if we get Roberta for that. Um, I'm going to reach out to her today and see if she can come join us for that one. And then uh, what else have we finished recently? We finished well, Ripper. We started The Walking Dead, so we need to finish that. Yeah. So, yeah, we're finishing things. Yeah, so if we we have the right to not finish stuff if we don't want to. All right, let's play this game. Hi, Adventure Game Hotspot. Hi, Monk Monk Babes. Hey, guys. Welcome. All right, there we go. No. Oh. Wait, what do we remember? What do we know? I don't know. Stuff happened. Take control, right? Okay. Take control. Okay. All right. Well, but I don't remember. There we go. Um. Oh shit. Where are we? We're emergency access only. I guess it's an emergency. Well, we've been here before, right? All right. We set our broken arm. We've finally been able to take some proper readings from the RA fourteen sensors. They show we have a range of 700 to 1,000 rads for anyone exposed to the atmosphere. What, what does that mean? Well, anything over 200 rads can be fatal. No. How long before it's safe to go back up? Our best guess, 20 to 30 years. Oh, he has a chance. That's... Sam, can we last that long? Do we have enough food? Yes, you. Y- yes, it'll, it'll be all right. We may have to ration it a little, but it'll be all right. Mom? It's all right, darling. Everything's going to be fine. Well, I guess it's time to get out. He's been told that he should never leave his room. He's been told that every single day since his childhood. If if he needed to store food for 20 or 30 years, what would you store and how much of it? Sardines. As many sardines as possible. And peaches. (laughs) Um, It it sounds like you've been waiting your entire life for me to ask that question. And you had the answer. (laughs) Ready. Yeah, I haven't, been, I haven't been waiting. There's been no waiting at all. Um, but it seems to me that our job is to get out of this bunker. Oh, boy. Okay, we got a lot the, the sound is really... Hi. A fire escape. It leads down to the other blast doors. Okay, wait a minute. I wasn't done looking at that. Where are we going? Let's look at it again. So, where are we? The Isn't there a you are here, here sign? Somewhere. Escape hatch. We need to find an escape hatch. Is it here in this room? Nothing's lighting up here. I have to turn around. Why Guardy666 says, Daniel, same question. Well, I store tuna, but not eat it every day because of the mercury. Uh, now he's got a dude broken corn. arm acting the rest of the game. So, Probably need to. Oh, wait, no, that's right. Skip. Come on. <laughs> I hate this part. This part, I think they could. You know, having us have to click really fast. Let me help you with that. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Maybe you should have led with your other arm, your other shoulder. That might have been the way to go. I, I forgot how he broke his hand again. He fell off the ladder, right? Yep. Oh, yeah, again? Really? 
Let me oh, help you with that. Go for it. So one thing that's very apparent with uh, you and Tori playing these games is the fact we're, that we're you not fast button clickers. No, 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 no. That you never move the cursor away from what's happening on screen. Like when we played Fantasy Magoret, then Tori had the cursor right in the center of the screen. Well, the thing is, it's I think it's a little different when you're um, when you're remotely clicking because no, you, because you can move it, you know. But like my my cursor is now like on the left, and it, that cursor is on the right. It it's, it doesn't really. Oh man, come on! Oh. <laughs> what, am I supposed to do something? Wait, We're did dead. we just die? Yeah. Hey, we died. I'm glad you're happy. I was looking at the I was looking at the cursor. Consist. I was dealing with the cursor concern more than I was the game. Hatch. Oh, let's try it again. Okay. Okay, so death number one. Oh, do we have to do this again? Can we skip through? All right. Oh, gosh. Let me do that. Yeah, do it. He doesn't learn. Now, is it just me, or should he be using his right shoulder? Should he have just turned around and used this shoulder so his bad hand would not be... Yet he did it twice. He did it twice because we're just seeing the same scene twice, not because he actually... I did know. Twice. I know. That part I know. Right now, I don't know if I have the oh, timing. Okay. Yeah, you should do it. He's not very good with ladders. So he, he has one hand. Well, he didn't do good when he had two hands. Oh, that's right. That's why he has one hand. Uh oh. Click, 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 click. I'm surprisingly okay with these long scenes of him just slowly climbing down with... Long scenes is what I miss mm -hmm. from... Yeah. Recent we were watching, cinema. Uh, we were watching Young Frankenstein last night with the kids. It's our, every year we watch that. And, and I was really surprised at how, how many long takes there were, long scenes of... of Gene Wilder walking down a stairwell and then walking over to the monster and then delivering a long monologue. I mean, it's all just one take. What's going on here? He's waiting for you to do something. Oh, is it me? It's my turn. Okay. Did I have it again? Come on. There we go. All right. What so we so that that's the thing. I think that the perfect balance was in well, the mid-90s. In case there's some the good music, good live music. What's going on? What are you doing? Wait. Do you understand where there's no volume for the music and the audio? What's up with <laughs> FMV gaming? One, one strike against so you, that's Bunker. It. We're done. Else out there. If there is, they've got no idea we're here. 
Maybe Mickey McMullen did the sound mix for this one as well. Great boys. I love the Scottish accent. So I think that that in the mid '90s was the perfect, perfect mixture of longer scenes, but not too long. All right, so now you I know, need to get out of here. Scenes nowadays just don't resonate as much as they used to because you don't have. Can't get out. Do I have to click, 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 click? Here we go. Click, 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 click. click. This was probably not the smart. This is. I'll click. Uh, for it. Yeah, I can't do it. So that's the thing. Since there is no actual gameplay, then they have to sort these types of things. Yeah, th this should be a puzzle, right? This should be a way to figure out, you know something in the room there's a key in the room or there's a sledgehammer or there's something that we have to do to get it that would have been listen to me talking like a guy who plays games but you are a guy who plays games i guess i am no yeah. for two and a half years now actually exactly two and a half years Jeez. all right what's going on okay here we go okay push that what's that Another door. I wonder how click, conversations, click, click. conversations with Curtis's tenth anniversary would look like. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Okay, so we can't do that. I can't click, click, click. We'll probably say something like, "Okay, guys, we finished all of the games in your game recommendations." <laughs> yeah, right. We just got through them all. Now, time to go back to Fence Magoritu. <laughs> All right, so I can't get out. There's no way out. There's this thing. A torch. I feel like we're getting to the end of the game here. I feel like this is the end of this. The other side of this door is uh, go back. Why go back? All right, now what? Let's torch this thing. Um. Go back again. Now what? What's all this? Oh, what's that? Oh, okay. What's that? Another door? Another trap door? Now, I can't access my inventory. I have a torch now, right? But isn't there something? Seems like there's. In the center, there was a hotspot. The center. Oh, there we go. That ain't gonna work. He needs the screwdriver from Fence Gurtin. <laughs> He'll probably remember that as a kid, his fingers were small enough. Open that hatch. We've been here before. Come on, quickly, we can get to this way. Come on. Help me, John. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, how come we're helping him in the past? Yeah, it makes no sense because if you help him in the wait. past, then what would happen? He would die? He's coming! What about the continuity? That dude. Alright, so now I just need to go back to this thing and get the thing. Yep, isn't there a thing? Where'd it go? But wasn't it on the door here? Here, you have something on the left. That's where he took the tro torch from, right? Right, right. Is it on the ground, maybe? Is we have to look around and see where this... 
I like that I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I don't feel like I have much of a clue. So it looks, oh, what's that right there? Wait, I had that in my pocket the whole time? Oh. All right. Oh, you are a very stunted young man. <laughs> no way. That is not going to be the answer. A, a clay. Let me help you with that. Maybe it is. Oh, you got to be kidding me. A little clay or wooden figure opened that huge machine. Open that huge door. Well, oh, okay. Th those are some very robust clay figurines. Yeah. Now let's go here. See, if we wanted to right now, could we go back up into the top of the, you know, bunker and hang out and walk around and stuff? Or do you think we're we're stuck in this? We're, we're, there's no no going back. Oh, he left his thing. Well, you helped us out though. Thank you. Wow. This is awesome. Look at this. Where's the light? Oh, he's got the torch. Okay, they call it a torch. Dang. Oh man, I feel like the conclusion is gonna be Dimension X or something. Sounds like some... I think he's gonna go out of the bunker and the, the real world will have been going on normally. There's gonna be like malls and, you know, uh, fast food restaurants and... I mean, this is giving some serious Phantasmagorator vibes. Oh, I think we should talk to the stuff. writer. Totally. I completely agree. I, I, I know. There's no doubt he saw. They saw it. It's some. All right. There's that. There's a door. What else is there? It seems like there's so, there's something there. Let, let's approach him without telling him, you know, without giving the, the usual intro for what conversations with Curtis is. And let's see if he knows. Okay, so why is that locked and do we need to get in there somehow? But we don't have inventory, so we're going to have to go. Looks like our only option is this. Doesn't seem like there's anything else. So yeah, let's go down. No! Okay, let's pause it for a second. Oh, all right. Well, maybe. Never mind. Keep going. Maybe this is going to answer what my question is. Looking for the key. Why would I give you a way out, Margaret? You and the little rat. Rat. I'm not going to leave. But why? Why? What's your problem? What's going You're on? You're not going anywhere. We're all gonna die down here. John, no! no! So why? What's going on? Do something! What? What am I supposed to do? Explain your evil ways, man. What's going on? What's going on? Boom, boom, flick, flick. get him, get him, smack him. Uh, excuse me, mister, will you stop? Oh boy, didn't think that was gonna happen. No plate. Grab the gun. Well, given that we know that the mom survives, <laughs> and... All right, now let's pause it. Let's talk through this. I want to know what I what I just what have we learned so far. Let's talk through this game. We've so he's 
been in this bunker since he was he was born in this bunker. <clears throat> we witnessed oh, his um, birth. We witnessed his birth. Um, I just got a text. Daniel, finish this. I have uh, to go go pay our uh, our contractors upstairs. I'll be back in, and okay. hopefully let's. So uh, I'll talk to back. I'll talk to All everyone right. over here. And, yeah, and then about everything. stuff. Okay. Don't go ahead. Yeah, let's talk about stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> so last last Thursday, I interviewed Al Lowe. Now, one of the things that we've been doing on our interviews is. In the first batch of interviews, we used Zoom to record our conversations. And the problem with using Zoom when you're recording conversations is that it's the quality of the video and the continuity of the video stream relies heavily on the internet connectivity of both parties. And so whenever we'd have guests with slower internet connections, then the video stream would always be glitchy. And so we started using this service called Riverside to record our conversations, which is supposed to record a local copy of the video and the audio. And that's what we're using in our conversations. And so internet connectivity doesn't have any effect on the local recordings because you record it locally and then it's uploaded to the cloud. And then that's why I think you'll notice in my interviews, you'll see in the David Fox interview, we're using Zoom, so the video is in lower quality. And in the next uh, conversation I had was with Graham Annabel, it was already 4K. But the, the website itself has so many issues that every time I uh, find out about these issues by just encountering them at the end of the live stream. So after having a four hour conversation with someone and I just, Notice that part of the recording is missing right, or something on. else. And so after tons of uh, issues that I had in which the conversations were not recorded in full, and then I had to contact support to have them find the recordings in the cloud or whatever, in my conversation with Allo, they just lost the entire video stream. I have no video stream. Oh, you're talking about your and, ri the Riverside stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So in my Allo conversation, I don't have his side of the conversation in video form. So I only have audio. So I'll have to uh, use that conversation, that three hour conversation with Allo only as a podcast. Wow. What a bummer. We had, let's, let's stop. Let's, I think it's time to uh, move on from. Yes. Yeah, so, so I'm looking for a new, uh, a new video recording service, something that, that, the good thing about Riverside is that it didn't require any, any installation on the guest's part. And given the fact that most of the people I'm interviewing either have older computers or, or not all of them are that tech savvy and some of them rightfully so don't trust any application that I might ask them to install. So having something that was web-based was pretty great for our needs. But with this la latest issue in which I don't have the video stream of my guest, I think it's time to move on. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, I'm back. Let's resume. Okay, so born in a bunker, there was uh, nuclear bombs. Uh, there's no, that took 30 years. There was a potential 30 year period where they had to live down there. They didn't have enough food. There was a lot of behind the scenes talk amongst the leaders that they didn't want to let everybody else know all the things that were going to be in, in place. The mom had the baby. She was part of the leadership. And then the, this guy who hated this baby from the beginning uh, kind of went nuts but we don't do we know why he became sort of a behind the scenes killer is he like a cult leader what's the story behind i don't get why he 
doesn't want anybody to leave the bunker and it's well, going I presume to kill some them. some sort of power move or or him having control over these people for whatever reason that people like right but yeah you know, well the game's got to do something like it, it would be one thing to you, you know showing that he is going uh you know losing his mind and and you know sort of in a shining like way getting more and more disturbed and controlling that would have been interesting but i didn't quite get the I didn't quite get the how he progressed from being sort of a military leader of this service to becoming the psycho that he became. Well, But the now, first question we need an answer for is whether or not there's actually something going on outside the bunker. Right. Was this all real? Was this, well, imagine I'm of the opinion that there's a real world out there kind of like the game the movie you were talking about John Goodman although I don't know the end of that but there's um that you know it, that that this may have been just uh, a ruse of some sort um but at this point in the game our character Johnny Bunker <laughs> is that what, Johnny what's Bunker. his real name is he Johnny, really Johnny Bunker, Bunker that's his name that is not his name but we're going to call him Johnny Bunker um but Johnny Bunker is realizing that there's you know uh radiation he's got to get out of there even though he's been told he's got to stay but now after going down these corridors where he, he's searching for a way out is what i get right and now mm -hmm. and he's remembering these corridors because his mom showed them where they were when he was a kid or That's because it's I a got. Phantasmagoria 2 ripoff, and then in the just like in the in chapter five, when you have flashbacks from Curtis's youth that coincide with the scenes there's a that lot. you're There really is. There's a lot of uh, I mean, not to say that not to say that Phantasmagoria 2 was unique. Was not a ripoff in itself. Telling. It was a real, yeah, it's, you know, it's basically using all the same tropes. Those tropes have been around forever and ever. So let's not give that too much uh, credit, but, um, but nevertheless, all right. I think I've, I've gotten all I need to move forward. You know, a, a piece of music is considered a ripoff in case there are seven, seven notes in a row that are similar. So I think if you have seven tropes, in a row that are similar, then it's a ripoff. Well, how many do we have so far? Have you counted? Yeah, all of them. This is like <laughs> chapter five in <laughs> Phantasm I'm just, I'm just, I'm just expecting him to find the Hecatomb or and or a portal to Dimension X. Well, I would love it, Daniel, if you reached out to these. Uh, the I'll reach out to all of game. them. I'd love to talk to them. Yeah, I'd love to talk to the writer director. I'd love to talk to this guy for sure. But I'd love to talk to the writer, uh, director, person who kind of right now what? Another door. No authorized persons allowed within this area. Okay, so there's that. Oh, look at that. Hey, look at that. I can move this him around. This is very Phantasmagoria too, with good. Curtis in the apartment looking, looking at the cursor. There's that. I don't want to go try to open the door. Can I, there we go. Let's try this. That's blood. Another blood strewn entryway. Of course, it's not going to work. You have to use the. You have to. You're a dead man, Craig. A dead man. <laughs> oh, they brought him in there. You're a dead man, Curtis. Craig. Oh. So there's a rotting corpse body in there. Do we really want to open that door right now? And... It's all right, John. It's over. We're safe here. And that's all that matters. Sorry, I got... As long as I'm here, I'll look after you. Nothing can hurt us now. Yeah, they had 20-something good years together. I love you, John. They had a good run. <laughs> they had a good run. Okay, so now... Do we really want to look at this through? Oh, Jonathan Rivera, thank you. What's the code? The code is 783. 
or 387 or 837. No, babe, I think that three is because we see we see there are four digits. I think that the three is click twice because it has more blood. Three, three, eight, oh, seven, eight. Maybe I can work out the code. I don't know maybe the I code. Can, maybe I can work out the code. I don't know the code. This is my new favorite channel. Keep doing what you guys are doing. Oh, thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. And Daniel, since I'm always the one who says this, why don't you uh, share with Jonathan and any of our new uh, folks watching? Our Will do. Hi, yeah. Jonathan. Thank you for <laughs> joining our channel. And um, we accept any type of donation you'd like to give us, and we appreciate it as much as the other guy. But the, the problem is that YouTube takes about 50% of the donation itself. And so we uh, stay with only 50%. While we have this link over here, the coffee.com slash CWC, which is a service that gives us about 98% once you remove the PayPal fees. And so, again, we appreciate every donation. But if you'd like us to uh, keep more of your donation, Please use coffee.com slash CWC. And you get the same uh, you get the same widgets and the same opportunity to have your yeah. your comment thanks, read aloud um, by a voice. Yeah. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> All right. So someone said there's some blood on the six too. So you're probably right. Now does it matter which Oh, so it's three seven eight six. Three seven eight six. Yeah, baby. Look at that. Look at us all doing. Look at all work. When you work well together as a team, no stopping you. Let's find the bloody corpse. The is it just a? How many years does it turn to take to become a, a skeleton? Five. Then. How many? Okay, so he's just going to be a skeleton at this point. With his is his clothes still going to be on? Probably. This is gonna be gross. He's still alive. He left. He never. Oh, he never died. What? This could be good. I like it. I like it. He survived the. He's been in there the whole time. He's gonna jump out. He's been sleeping, hanging well, out. Is he... Unless he had canned goods in this storage room. Warning air contamination detected, levels one, five detected. Now, nah. oh, people are dying in the other rooms, but he's surviving. Oh, he's about to die, it looks like. Oh, it's awful. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, oh that just gives me the willies. How come they're okay? So and so's. Oh, she knew, I guess. Oh, <laughs> that was a little, a little much. Um, I'm a little confused. So he who drugged the bodies down here? Was this a workspace? Didn't I think I'm good confused and not angry confused. But I'm sort of confused. Let's see, am I supposed to do something? Looks like it. What am I supposed to do? I have to, to find do? the key. What key? Oh, the key, God. I'm gonna look through stuff. I'm gonna open with some okay, dead so bodies. Oh. This seems like a very interesting gameplay. He's move the camera is moving around and you're supposed to use the camera movement to try hey, here it is. Oh. What's what's it? Oh. oh great. He, he's the worst. He can't walk up stairs, he can't use ladders, he can't walk over bodies. <sighs> <laughs> Don't 
the director's like saying, don't forget you have a broken arm. Yeah. No, but right now, a moment ago, he fell on his broken arm. So, so now it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did he and the mom? Oh, you're kidding me. What? Come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why 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 is it a puddle of the guts and why would he Why is it a puddle of guts? Because that's that's the way bodies decompose. But but why would he look in there for keys? And so how come these bodies got in here? Did he and his mom drag them all down when it just when it was, everybody died and supposed to do something it looks like yeah what where is it what i don't see tell me what to do i'm calling it right now if in the end you have to choose between jocelyn and going through the portal <laughs> I, I think it would be considered an he, official he never had a jocelyn though he didn't, see he didn't have the curtis Whatever still... the Curtis Mojo was, there was no. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do, Daniel. There's nothing. It's the the Paul Morgan Stetler Mojo. Yeah, it wasn't me. It was it was all Lorelai. Thank God. That's it. You you want me to look around? I've never, I've never been that wanted. <laughs> That's why being an actor could be so great sometimes. There we go. What? Nothing. There's nothing. Nothing. Dude, what am I supposed to do? Let me let me look around. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, you have so much more. You have you can go so much faster than I can. Okay, there's nothing here. Oh. Oh, there we go. Jeez. Let's let's look in some more guts. What do you want to bet the the the, the bad guy's still alive? If they show me the canned goods in this storage room, then that might have been plausible. <laughs> Otherwise, Emily just said she, yeah, he doesn't have the the Curtis alien Riz. Riz, that's the new word. Oh, he, he did that. Right, right. I knew he'd see a skeleton. But it would be great if he came alive. It'd be great if he stood up. Jeez. Feeling kind of guilty there, Johnny Bunker. Driver's guilt. Do something. Oh, I have to do something. Oh, okay, what well, I'm, I'm watching. I'm just sitting here like being. Uh, what do I do? Uh, ah, there you go. Oh, another. Gosh, you got this. I guess you have a broken arm, Johnny. If these are real or just a figment of his imagination? I don't want to be over... I don't want to criticize the game that I'm liking, but I feel like they're overdoing the soundtrack. Yeah, that's why we have to turn it down a bit. I feel like it's just, it's a little, you know, a little goes a long way. And it's a, it's a little overkill. Listen to me being an armchair quarterback. All right, what do we do? Get out of here, footsteps. So, so the game basically stopped him in the middle of moving so that we could click to keep him moving. That's not and, me. And that, that's the same in Phantasm Gora too. When you sit with Trevor in the Dreaming Tree, you have a conversation, and the conversation stops, and you just need to click him to continue. Same conversation. Yeah. And you don't have options either. Like, you don't have dialogue options. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, wait, he just burned his good hand? Dang, you are a clumsy, clumsy man. 
Ease. When you reach level five, find the ventilation hatch. Look for the hot pipe, but make sure it's the one with the warning label, John. Then open the top, but be careful. Then you run back to me as fast as you can. As fast as you can, John, promise me. I promise. You've got this. You understand. You'll remember. Good boy. Be careful. Wait, what? What is this? You gave him some chocolate milk or something? What is, what's going on? Yeah, and he likes it hot, so she's showing him how to heat up the chocolate milk he just got. <laughs> the end. What is going on? What does she know? I feel like she's in on something. Find the hot pipe. Alright, thanks game. Thank you game for telling us what to look for so we can get our hot chocolate. I'm hot pipe. Okay, okay, you're telling me. All right, what do I do? My coffee is cold. Maybe I need the hot pipe. It would be great if he tripped, so we saw that he was a clumsy kid from the beginning, going down the stairs or a ladder. See, he seems way more. Uh, he seems a little more coordinated. The game is doing all the work for me here. Yeah, so it took, him, it took him 30 years to become a clumsy buffoon. Yeah, well. Maybe you need to hug your there. mom, just like at the end of Fantasy Girl 2. Oh, Zen has a good idea. I think he might be reading into this better than... What's going on? I gotta run back to mom. What's it supposed to do? Zen says, I feel like the head guy realized the outside world was fucked up and started slowly killing people so they didn't burn supplies on the residence. Yeah. You're saying he was doing it as an altruistic thing. Wait, is this going to create, like, better air quality? What, what are we doing here? Or worse hell, air quality. Oh, she's killing everybody else. Whoa, Mom. Wait, what is that? Though? Through that the ventilation going? system. Oh. Mom, you, you evil... Don't serve He's the evil one. <sighs> so the guy was good the whole time. <laughs> he hated the mom knowing she had that in her. Look what you've done. No wonder you're clumsy. You would have been clumsier back then. That's not his fault. I love these old classic keychains. They look at these moments of. Hey, he looks like a medieval dungeon master. What, what year was this? I mean, what, what year does the game say this is? I forgot. 2016. Like the year it was. Key is it? it was actually released. Which what key, key is, is it? it? Uh, let's see. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Let's go with green. I'm a fan of green. Yes. It must be another key. Darn. Let's go with yellow. Come on. Let's try the yellow. Come on. Who is he saying come on to? Us? Yeah, he's mad at us. Okay. Is he breaking, is oh, breaking okay. the fifth wall? How can I be wrong, wall? Tuna? All right. Well, the red key. The red key. Yeah. All right. Makes sense. man do they know that you're not going to pick the middle one is that like a one of those tested things that you're going to always pick the ones on the outside i would have chosen the red one just saying would you oh the struggles of a custodian <laughs> i don't know the door just shut on him and he didn't even notice don't you want to put like a little chair in the door to make sure you can get back in if you need to. Where's your shoelaces?
I love this game, by the way. I really think it's great. I mm -hmm. I want too. them to do more like this. Yeah. Let's oh, talk to uh, Wales Interactive. John. All right, let's walk up the stairs because that's what the game... Because of reasons. Good luck, John, getting up the stairs. I can tell he's going to fall down. Yeah. He's going to trip. He's going to break his neck. I have to keep going. All right. Well, we're going to help you do that. Yeah. I'll, I'll Paul click on the foot click away. the next yeah, chance you. I get. I can't really tell. The, can you get, do you have a sense of... Oh. Do you get the sense of where he is in the bunker? Like we were down, 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 and now we're going. Oh, I got to click, click, double click, click, click. I don't know why. Let me help you out. Um, 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 um. Uh, okay. This is challenging. <laughs> How long ago did Mom die? Did it she was die? In the like of this game, like today yeah. or yesterday or something. I don't know. That's not true. It was the beginning of this game. How long was this game been going? On? Like, how many days have we been? Well, remember we had a few days in which the routine went perfectly well, and then yeah. on the third day, something was wrong. Was it just the third day, or was it like forty-seven days? Oh wow! It's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Click on it, Daniel. Go. No. <laughs> We got killed again. I have to go up. Oh, hmm. So this is... I think they could be a little clearer about us dying. They should have filmed him dying in Grizzly Death numerous times, like Curtis. It seems weird to just immediately go back to where we were without a real clear sense that we died. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need to see the grave that says Craig. I wonder if they it. ran out of I wonder if they ran out of money too. Everyone runs out of money. <laughs> I ran out of money. We just put a kitchen in our floor in our kitchen. I'm completely out of money. They didn't have the money to put the kit the floor in. That's nice, though. You, you, you don't. You didn't have a floor up until today. I don't have countertops. We complete each other. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta get up there. There you go. Oh, I guess it's me again. I have to click on the stairs. John, click. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Where are you? Try. Okay. Stairs. Footsteps. Let's go. Daniel, I'm going to let you take it from here. Okay. I'm almost there. Almost there. Daniel doesn't screw up this time. But where are we? It feels like we're going right back up to like our room. I thought we were trying to get out. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good. Pretty good fair moment. Stop. They're using dog noises. Go, Daniel, go. Come on. Who are you talking to? Talking to Daniel? Come on, Daniel, keep moving. It sounds a little Harry Spin Rad like, doesn't it? Oh, go, Daniel, go, Daniel, go, Daniel, go, Daniel, go, Daniel. Ah. You get you die again? Dude. I have to go up. See, that's a weird way to die. This doesn't feel like... And now we're right back. I wonder if there's any way... Wait. 
can we skip ahead? Sensitivity. No, we can't skip ahead. All right, I'm gonna. I'll be back. You you get us past the stairwell. I want to, to give props to, we, to we've, we've been I want to before. give props to Hamstray who uh, said previously regarding the fact that I have only the audio of my LO conversation. He said Whoa. maybe you can get Clippy to convert the audio stream to phenomens and animate them. Which is Don't a reference talk. to yesterday's conversation. So could have Listen, you've got listening. work to do. Stop talking about Al Lowe. You gotta click past this thing right now. No, yeah, you're not you're, it's you're bothering not me so much. You missed it twice. It was my biggest fear, and it came true. My biggest fear is not getting up these stairwell. I don't want to hear them barking at me. Can you both click? Come on. <laughs> Actually, that's what we did up until this point. We both clicked it. You want me to click too? No. No, you missed the last two in a row. I think, I'm not in any way to blame. Last one. I just forgot that oh, we have another cutscene. I thought this was the part where we. No, this next no. one. This one okay. coming. Okay, I'm ready. Here it goes. Go, 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 click, 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 kick him. Here we go, and that's it. So you see, that's how you create gameplay from nothing. Wait, that's it? Oh, you just clicked his sanity back into space. Mm -hmm. Make those ghosts go away. Clear your head. <laughs> you guys are funny. Sunlight. That's sunlight. It's a strip mall. You're gonna see a, a Home Depot and uh, Chipotle. Do it. Is it me? Can I go? Everything I did, I did for you. You can't leave me, Justin. Mom, you killed a whole bunch of people. You're you're a wacko. I love you, but you're Everything insane. I did, I and you're did. dead, and I've been here for 30 years. And I've taken the spoiled supplies off and spit it out. 14 months. Now that's mm -hmm. So, she heard that they only have 14 months if everyone survives. You never know from Mrs. Harris. That wasn't chocolate milk. I knew it! How long before it's safe to go back up? 20 or 30 years. Do we have enough food? I have to ration. This is good. This part is good. I like it. Well done. Good boy. Not evil. She's just a little too much of a helicopter pair. Mommy? All right, let's stop this for just a second. Let's, let's stop them writhing in pain before they die. So, so this is a good, you know, legitimate question. They're all going to die. Mm -hmm. in 14 months, right? 
humanity may be wiped out at this point, as far as we know, right? So do you leave it to a group of people and everybody's going to want to be the one to survive? It's going to be very hard to, to make a decision. But ultimately, what they really need to do is choose the youngest, strongest people, a man and a woman, an Adam and an Eve, to survive. They all ultimately have to sacrifice their lives so those two people could survive the 20 years and then start anew. Yeah, but they can happen. start anew <clears throat> because the only remaining people are a mom and he, her son. But the mom should have like also saved the youngest female of the bunch. And the youngest, the most group. attractive female he could, <laughs> she could find. <laughs> well, it's up to the mom. But the mom would have. Mom should have been thinking ahead. She knew she wasn't going to survive. So she thought ahead enough that she's just trying to save her kid, but she should have thought about saving humanity, except I'm convinced there's going to be a, a strip mall out there. Okay, let's go. I think humanity's fine. But he was a good guy after all. I like that, though. I wasn't expecting that. Mom, leave me alone. You are so. She is indicative of all of the parents that we've all become. What? Let me out of here. What do I do? Can I? Can I click on something? You want, okay. Hey, do you want me to leave? Doing it. All right, it's a double leave. All right. Now I feel like let's go back. What can we do? Go back. Can I go back? Stay. Oh, stay. Leave. Who's not gonna? Who's not gonna choose leave? Wow. This is yeah. Phantasmagoria too. I told you. If you have two choices, this is Phantasmagoria 2. Well, why, you're right. It totally is. Yeah, let's go. Let's call the writer right now. Let's call him up on the phone. Okay, what and, else do I have? And tell him that. All right, let's do it. So, stay oh, is choosing Jocelyn, and leaving is going through oh, the okay. portal. Oh, here we go. Boom. Strip mall. There we go. Bunch of people out there walking and talking, hanging out. Okay, it's not a strip mall. Choose to leave. Okay. Well, we already did. Why are you? Why is that thing oh, so far behind us? Breathe. Okay, we're gonna die. Oh, we just got an achievement. So. But it, didn't say, it should have said you chose to leave. Oh, end the game. Hey, nice, nice work, game. But what happens if we stay? Alan Lenderly. Let's talk to Alan. Who, who wrote it? No, who that's who wrote it. it. Executive producer. Alan yeah. seems like the guy. Alan yeah. Lenderly. Yeah. Harry Rowe. Seems like the writing should have been... Written by uh, Alan, Kevin, uh, uh, yeah, I know the Alan. third guy. You do? Yeah. Who's the third guy? Bryn. He's my Facebook yet. friend. Wow. What else has he done? How do you know? Because he recently he retired like... from uh, game development. Oh, okay. It's, uh... Oh, that's a... <clears throat> Way too young. Splendy Games. Well done, Wales Interactive. Splendy Games. The Bunker. All you folks. Good job. Yeah, I think this feels like the... This feels like it's just the tip of the iceberg of what this game could have been. Exactly. That's why I want Adam the Bunker, Brown. too. This feels like it's a... a you know, a... What's it called? Uh, when you when you show your work to get you know it's like a work uh, work sample. It seems like a really awesome, amazing work sample. <laughs> Ozzy just wrote, "Splendy is my favorite sugar substitute." It's not Splendy. So I know one of the writers. Now we're gonna have to talk to him. 
Well, I want to talk to the main guy. I don't want to talk to just one of the writers. I want to talk to that dude. I'll bet you he's available. Find him. Get him for me. <clears throat> All right, so. Where are these guys from? Are they? Well, they the UK. Be, it's UK. It's so UK, people yeah. who wonder why I know the main uh, one of the writers and why I wanted I, I wanted to uh, get him for a conversation. Like I Let's wanted to ahead. talk to, Let's talk get to out him. Of this, uh, scene here. Let's get into our. Yeah, just uh, let me. So the reason I wanted to talk to Steve, who's one of the writers there, is uh, because he was the writer of Broken Sword. The first and the second one. In the first one, oh, wow. he was the, the, the project coordinator. In the second one, he was the lead designer and the writer. And so I wanted to get him for an interview. And since I haven't played the bunker at the time when I wanted to get him for an interview, the only thing I wanted to talk to him about was Broken Sword. But now, I don't care about Broken Sword. I want to talk to him about the bunker. Yeah, I want to talk to Alan Plunderleaf. All right. Um, and I want to talk to, no, uh, Brown too. Mike, whatever the actor's name, Brown. Got to find them both. Maybe we get them both for a, a dual conversation. A dual conversation? What do you, you mean? Yeah. Like the Mickey McMullen and uh, Courtney? Yeah. Or... Like I would talk to the lead actor and the, yeah, probably better nah. to talk to them separately. Yeah. Um, fun. Well, that was good. I'm I'm a big fan. See, you just this shows you what what games, FMB games could be, and and I feel like, you know, it does feel slight in terms of gameplay and choices, but that's probably just because they were limited in their in their scope. But you could see what they're able to do, and it's feels like it's, man, it would be so cool to. To do that again. All right, so we're done with this. What Daniel mm -hmm. had talked about is since we've got a good forty-five minutes left in our day, that we would stop this stream and call let it be its own stream on YouTube, so that it completes the bunker um, part two. But then, in just a couple minutes, we'll start a new stream, uh, and we'll get back to Walking Dead, and that way we can. Yeah, so people people on Twitch, people on Twitch, should uh, stick around because we're gonna stop the stream and then start the stream. And people on YouTube should just go to our channel, and I'll create a new video in a sec. Now you're probably wondering why we're doing this. This is because a lot That's of the cool. times when we're playing two games in one stream, either the end of one game and the beginning of another, then people can't find it later can't find the the beginning or or a certain chapter of that particular game and so we'd like to separate it by having two streams so i just said that i just said that see you get you get on me for saying things that you just said and now you just uh, said exactly what i just said i know but i'm i'm doing i'm doing so because I'm trying to buy time. No, I'm trying to yeah. buy time. <laughs> so let's tell them again why we're doing this. So the reason okay, we're doing the, this. The reason we, we're no, doing this. No, don't even. <laughs> so go grab yourselves a cup of coffee. Get what you need. Depending on what time of day, maybe grab a glass of wine. And then uh, we'll be back with another stream momentarily. Yep. We need to stop the stream now and then stop it, start it, or what are we doing? Wait, let's I'm stick confused. around and sing a song, and I'll let people know whenever we have uh, that thing. Oh, right. uh, what's the um, the other game that we... Oh, I guess I'm going to play. I'm going to try. I think tomorrow is going to work, but I'm going to try to finish up uh, Stanley Parable tomorrow, so I will... Uh, those of you who are have been joining me for that um, market calendars, I'll try to start a, a stream tomorrow at twelve noon, and I think that'll probably be my even if the game. <laughs> I feel like the Stanley Parable never really ends, um, but what I'm going to do is get a 
uh, I guess I'll get a walkthrough and I'll start to find some of the ones that we haven't seen yet. And anybody who's been watching uh, during the chat, you can certainly uh, point me towards uh, other endings that we haven't got to. But that'll probably complete my Stanley Parable. And then Thursday, if I can, I will start a new solo stream. Daniel and I are going to play. Uh, I think we're going to. What are we playing uh, Wednesday? We're going to do Grim Fandango, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll either continue that or Walking Dead, depending on how far we get into Walking Dead or if we want to keep going. And then um, someone recommended to me a game that seems super interesting. And I think either I'll play it on my own or uh, mm. depending on our schedule, if Daniel wants to join. Um, uh, it's called, what's it called? Kentucky something? Ozzy Kentucky. Astaroth tipped five pieces of eight. Good game, guys. Congratulations on escaping the bunker and a mom's guilt trip. Okay. So, so. <laughs> Thanks. And you, that was a perfect uh, widget that I showed know. up. It was you doing the same thing that you were just doing. That was great. Um, that would be so. funny if you just, the widgets were us live right now. Just, a, just us in real time showing up. Just like that widget that appeared that had a, where you had the same shirt you were wearing in the live stream. Yeah, Remember that was that? hilarious. Yeah, it shows you that we have a limited limited wardrobe. Okay, um, so we're going to stop the stream now, and we're going to start it in five minutes. All right, see you guys in a bit. Bye. Do I have to sigh on this one? I think so. <laughs>